think it's safe to say that Pokemon has had some sort of effect on most of our lives. Whether it's big or small, it's had some sort of effect on us. With that, a lot of the fans are not the same. A lot of us are actually pretty different. Because of this, I can sort of think of how many types of different fans are there. Well, I saw this one video by someone called Expert Games who made a video on the seven types of of Dragon Ball Z fans, I was like, eh, that's kind of curious. So I decided to go and do the same, except with Pokemon, of course. So I went and tried to think of how many fans there were in the fandom. I went and counted to see how much I could really think of. So I thought of, I thought of eight types of Pokemon fans that I thought of right off the bat. So this is going to be a video on that. This is going to be a video on the 8 types of Pokemon fans out there. The regular fans. This is just your everyday typical Pokemon fan. Just out of the blue. This is the one that you will usually go and run across. These are the people who you're usually going to a battle with, your trade with, to talk about your favorite episodes or your favorite games. Just the norm. You'll You'll talk about it, have some fun playing the games, and that's it. You'll move on to another subject after that. This is what most fans usually are. Just the regular, everyday fan. They, they can name a lot of Pokemon, but not all of them. They can name a lot of characters, but once again, not all of them. They haven't seen all the episodes, but they've seen a good chunk of them. Just the regular, everyday fan. He's, he and she has done this, they've done that, but... They haven't done everything related to Pokemon. They, they've done enough pretty much just to show that they are a fan of it. They're going to continue being a fan of it. They want to show their support, but they're not going to put their life into it. So, the everyday fan. The super shipper. This is the type of fan that ships some sort of couple together. This might be Ash and Misty, Ash and Serena, Jesse and James, or... Even something just very odd, like Pikachu and Meowth. These are the people who just usually makes tons of fan fictions, tons of fan art, all of that. Usually they just, the, the ones they ship are usually their OTP, they can't see anything else. They might or might not go and respect your ship if it's different. If they do, you're... You'll get along greatly, but if they don't, you usually want to stay away from that person because they will go out on you, say you're pretty much a terrible person just for liking this fictional ship, and just pretty much will call you not a real fan. Super shippers just, you'll usually find them on fan fiction sites or deviant art, but you can just find them at a lot of places. Gen 1ers. Oh, Gen 1ers. They are probably the most hated in the Pokemon fandom. You know what a Gen 1er is. They are pretty much the people who only like the first generation of Pokemon. Anything after that, they hate. They deem them not real. They say that any of the episodes after Generation 1 are terrible. They probably have never played any of the games after Generation 1, but they will say they suck anyway. These fans just give out terrible facts and they're very hated, but yeah, there are fans like this from all the generations. There, there are people from Generation 5 who own like Generation 5. There's no doubt about that, don't hide it, they exist, but Gen 1ers are just very annoying because out of all of these, they're the biggest ones and they can be very annoying. Now, Gen 1ers can sometimes go and tolerate Generation 2. I have seen a lot of Gen 1ers who will go and say they do like Generation 2 at least. But usually once Generation 3 comes around, that's what they don't like. After that, they'll start hating it and saying, Well, these Pokemon aren't real. Gen 1ers, they're annoying. No one really likes them. Move on. The bandwagon fans. These are the types of fans that will 
go and play the Pokemon games when they're relevant. And that's really all. For example, they went and played Pokemon again when Pokemon Go came out, even though they might not have touched anything Pokemon in 10 years. So, but once po Pokemon Go went and died out, they stopped playing it again, they stopped anything Pokemon again. Bandwagon fans are, are only going in there just because it's in. They want to be the cool people, they don't want to be left out. They're the type of people who are just going to see just they want to be in the popular crowd, and by doing that, they're just being very stupid. They're not being true fans. They they just aren't really working out for the Pokemon fandom. But bandwagon fans, it could be Pokemon Go, it can be a new game, it can be a, just a special that's airing on on the show that maybe one of the old act, voice actresses is coming back temporarily or something like that. They only come back once in a while, and then once that thing's gone, they go away. So that those are the bandwagon fans. The closet fans. This is something that I think that has actually happened to most of us at one point. Closet fans are the people who like Pokemon, but they won't admit to it. They pretend it sucks or say, I don't watch Pokemon, that's for fags. The games are for fags too. They are the fans who will go and say they dislike it, but secretly, they still do like it. I think most of us went through this stage around middle school. Because I remember back in middle school, I would say Pokemon is kind of stupid. I, I didn't watch the anime, I didn't care for the games as much, even though I still did play them a little. Because, guess what? Everyone else said they hated the games. Everyone else said they hated the anime. It's just that middle school stage everyone goes through where they think they're really cool by being, quote, badass and other stupid things. All middle schoolers go through this stage. Luckily, at one point, most of us go and get about out of it. And by the time I was in high school, I was into the Pokemon again. I didn't care if anyone hated it. I'll go and say that I like it, and if they don't like it, oh well. Closet fans, they... Most of them, like I said, they do move on. They don't like Pokemon again, but... Sometimes they just go and say they hate it forever, even though when they go home, they'll play the game. But it would be a little bit more fun if they had someone to play it with, so I don't know why they would continue to go and say they hate it even though they like it. The holy fan. These are the super fans. The the fans that just, they have every Pokemon game. They've watched every episode of the anime. They have a bunch of toys. They can name you all the characters. They can pretty much probably name you every Pokemon. They can name you all the moves. They can name you all the people who have voiced the main characters. They know everything about Pokemon that there is to know and if you pretty much don't know any of this they're probably deeming you as a hater and not a real fan because you just happen to have a life outside of Pokemon and they don't super fans um some of them can be pretty good they but they just take their their fandom to this to, to a whole new level and it can be unhealthy at times there are times that, and this, this happens in every fandom, but when it comes to Pokemon in this particular part, it can be very unhealthy and they should go and take a break from Pokemon once in a while. Holy fans, they just, it's amazing how much they n know about it. They, they know, might know more about it than some of the people who are at Game Freak. And that's kind of scary, to be honest, but it's their fandom, they can like what they want. The Fearest Fan. These are the people who come out with all those theories you're always hearing about. Like, why is Ash still in a coma? Or, why is Pikachu always weak when it, when it comes to a new region? Things like that. 
Pokemon theorists, they could be pretty interesting. I I like hearing some of the theories they come out with. Some might be like, yeah, that doesn't sound right at all. There's there's no way that could happen. But then there are others I look at and I'll be like, that, that could be true. I can see that happening. Some theories are just really good and others are really bad. Pokemon theorists, they... They do add to the fandom, they, they add some spice to it. Even though some of the theories are just very, very stupid, some of them are also very good at times, and I like to hear them, hear them out and just hear what they had to say. The Rumor Fan These are the fans that will go and spread that rumors are, are either true or false. For example, some people went and said that there was going to be a Pokemon Z game that was going to be a sequel to X and Y. Obviously, the game never came out, but there were a bunch of people who were saying, oh, it's going to have this, it's going to have that, it's going to come out on this date. Obviously, that never happened. Pokemon rumor fans go and spread these rumors that just might be true or might not, and it just confuses us in the end. Usually, they just, they should just probably keep quiet, it, unless they for 100% know it's true. If, and that's usually only if they get it from a good source, like like Nintendo's offer website or the official P Pokemon website, something like that. But if they get it off something like BuzzFeed, you probably shouldn't believe them because chances are it's false. Not all, all of them are going to be, but a good chunk of them are going to be false. So, those are the 8 types of Pokemon fans. Did I miss one? Maybe. But, that's really all I, I can think of right now. I think it, that most of us at least go into one of these. I pretty much go into a regular fan for the most part. And like I said, I, I used to be a bit of a, of a closet fan. But that's gone. But as of right now, I'm more of a regular fan and a bit of a theorist because sometimes I'll go and make my own theories on it and be like, uh, yeah, I, I think this makes sense. So I'm a regular fan and a theorist. So what do you think? Are there more fans out, types of fans out there? What type of fans are you? Leave it down below. Thanks for watching.